Okay, what's up YouTube? This is Lawman FJ. I'm going to do a quick look at the uh, new Android in beta version that just uh, came out. Uh, you know, of course, Google I.O. is going on and uh, they announced it today. And you can get this uh, by downloading a link and becoming a part of the beta program. And once you do that, they'll... Um, send you an OTA update. So I did that today and as soon as I as soon as I joined a second later they sent me the update to download. So I downloaded it and you loaded up OTA just like you got a regular update. So you don't have to root or anything. I'm not rooted uh and everything uh you know work it, it loaded just fine. So uh again I just loaded today um you know while I at, I loaded it while I was at work actually so um I'm just looking at it right now. So just kind of want to show you a few things that I recognize that uh, now for those who are already running the, the uh, Android developer preview, you already know this stuff. But for those who have not used that and want to upgrade to Android N, I think there's some good features you're going to like. Um, so let's take a look at it. All right. So um, now, first of all, the the OS is smooth. It's butter. Um, it seems snappier to me. I don't know, but it was always fast anyway. But it, it looks good and it feels good. Uh, so the OS runs good. I haven't had any problems yet. Um, so first thing I noticed was the drop down. Uh, it just looks cleaner. Um, everything, and it looks a little bit different. Now you have these toggles up front up here. I don't have that many, so I don't have any that I can swipe to the side. But But it does swipe to the side. So you pull this down a little further. You see that animation there? That's new, and I wasn't always there. And then you can slide these to the side, you know, to use the more animations. You can go to edit. You can add more uh, in the, uh, you got more tabs down there you can add. Um, you know, you can put the battery there uh, in program. I haven't tried these yet, but uh, I will be doing that. But you got some more functionality down there you can use. Um, just uh, get out of that. And, um uh, you have a few more of these things here that that's going on as well. Like this fine network, um, that symbol wasn't always like that. That's new. You know, it tells you that you don't have any data. You can just look at the symbol and tell that right now. Uh, let's go back up there. Uh, and also up here, that same symbol is right there in the data. I'm using Wi-Fi only right now. I'm not using the uh, data, but it, and so that's what it's telling me. It's got that X right there. No data. Uh, now, uh, the other thing is the um, this recent apps thing. Now, this recent apps tray. So now, finally, they got the clear all button. I hated that I had to swipe each one of these things away. Now they got the clear all button, so you can do that. Uh, so that's that's a really nice uh, addition to um, Android N. Uh, so that's great. Now you can also do. Um, the uh, split screen. So you find an app that you can put in split screen. You, like you have that one right there, and then you can do. Uh, so you got you got your split screen app right there, pretty easy. So all apps don't work in it, but you you can get apps that work in split screen. So uh, pretty good. Let me close that out. Now in the settings area, that was that was also changed. Let me see if you can still do the uh, two-handed drag down. Okay, there you go. You can still get it down with your two hands that drag down. So let's go into the uh, settings here. Now, what I noticed about this, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Now, I think this might be a bug, but I noticed when I go into split screen, this, this thing stays like that. I haven't figured out how that gets back, but it's always there so you can get right back into it. Now, I don't know if that's, that's supposed to be that way or, or what, but... Uh, uh, but it stays there once you go into split screen. So let me get back into the settings area here. All right. Is that settings? No, that's not settings. Let me get into settings here. Yeah, see, it's going back into split screen. So that might be a bug. I don't know. Uh, now, what I did before, I had to... You know, turn the uh, video, the, the phone off to get back into split screen. Let me pause this and, and see if I can do that. Okay. So it looks like that icon got back to normal somehow. I, I, I don't know what I did to get it back there, but it did. So let me go into settings here. 
and show you what the settings look like. Okay, now this is a new settings area. Now what I notice is they have these suggestion area right here in the settings, and they also have this sale the data off tab that, that, that wasn't there before. Everything is more descriptive, you know, Bluetooth disconnected or connected. You can see that right there. You know, you see what Wi-Fi you connected to. You can see what data you're using is right there on the, you know, you have to go inside the, uh, the, um, tab to see what's going on. It's right there in front of you. Um, and everything is like that. It tells you adaptive, diff, adaptive uh, brightness is off. So I like the fact that they've put that there and it's in writing. You can just see it as soon as you look at the setting, you know, what's going on and you know, whether you need to go into the, uh, deeper into the tab or not. So I like that, uh, system tuner, uh, this had a few more additions. You go in here, they got the added headset to show the headset when you, uh, Again, all of this has been in the, in the preview edition for those who had that. I know you know that, but this is the, for those who don't have, who hadn't done it yet and want to try it. And you can choose the uh, auto-rotate screen right there. Um, the other thing is that in other, you can, you can enable this, enable split screen swipe. And when you do that, and I did it before, when you do that, this button here, when you swipe above it, it automatically goes into split screen mode. So you can swipe over this button and automatically do that. Um, so uh, for those that want that shortcut, you can have that there. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Um, now I don't see the folders the way they viewed it on uh, the preview edition, you know, where you have the uh, apps you could see in a square, uh, like, you know, square like pattern. And so that must not have made it, or maybe they're going to bring that up when they have the final edition yet, but that's not there right now. I don't see it. Uh, but those are a few things that I've seen already. Uh, let's see. And, and uh, I'm still messing around with it. So, you know, as I recognize more things, I, I will let you know. But um, just to see this Android in right there in about phone, uh, you go here, got the build version. You're going to get the end. So it is, it is real. Um, this is legitimate. Uh, so that's Android N. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think that's about all I can see right now that I want to show you. But uh, I like the way it looks. It's clean. Uh, and, uh, you know, things are, are working well. I have no problems yet. I'll figure out that split screen thing really good. I, again, I just started playing with it. But uh, just kind of want to give you that look right there and let you take a look at it. For those who don't have Android N at all, you weren't using the, the preview, you should, you should do this. You should get this o OTA and set it up. It loads up just like a regular update. And you will get future updates, no problem. O OTA, OTA, just like you normally would. So don't be afraid to try. There's no risk. Um, and you can go on Google and Google OTA for, uh, I mean, the beta version for Android. And you can find links all over you, all over Google. And you can just download one and, and get, your, get your set up. All right. If you've got any questions, let me know. Any comments, uh, uh, you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, let me know if you got any questions about anything. If you want me to check out anything, um, I'm going to see how battery life is going to be on this. It's supposedly Doe's been improved, so we'll see how that goes over tonight. Uh, this is uh, Lawman FJ. I'm checking out. Y'all have a good one.